Alpacas are a vital part of culture in Peru. When the Incas ruled the area 600 years ago, alpaca fleece was a major form of currency, even more important than gold or silver. Instead of fur, alpacas have fleece, which can be spun into yarn and used to create various textiles. Alpacas have the largest variation of colors of any other animal with fur. Their natural fleece can be found in 22 different colors, ranging from black to white and many shades of brown and gray between. The fleece can be dyed to create vibrant colors that are found in Peruvian textiles. Alpacas adorned with brightly colored tassels and pom-poms are often involved in celebrations. In Peru, they even celebrate National Alpaca Day. Let's go ahead and start out by drawing out our alpaca. About in the middle of the page, feel free to use your drawing guide to help you get started. When you begin in pencil, draw light until you've got it right. Look for the overall basic shape or the basic lines that will help you draw your alpaca. Once you've got your basic shape drawn, you might feel a little more comfortable and make your lines a little darker. Or feel free to take a black Sharpie and go over your pencil lines to be able to see it better. This might also help when you start adding on your visual texture and your paint. Okay, when you get your oil pastels, please feel free to start adding some textural lines for your alpaca. This is a furry animal, and so I'm using my oil pastels to add value changes as well as the direction of the line that I think that the fur will go. So you'll notice how my brown oil pastels are in the same direction that the fur would be on for the alpaca. I want to give it a furry look. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some watered down paint. I'm adding plenty of water so that you can see that the background of my alpaca is painted, but also you can still see those visual textures that I added on with my oil pastel. I also thought that the background could use a color or you can also paint on designs into your background. Really, the choice is up to you. Moving into making actual texture. I went ahead and I grabbed some tissue paper pieces and I'm doing an accordion fold, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Then I'm taking a staple, stapling that down, and trying to take that tissue and making it into a palm. So once I've made my designs, I'm going to cut off the ends of the tissue paper, open that up like a fan, and then I'm going to slowly and carefully, one tissue piece at a time, pull that towards me like an L shape. Pulling that up towards the center part of my paper. Just kind of fluffing it with my fingers very gently. It is tissue, take your time, be careful with it, and um, fluff up those tissue paper pieces. Kind of looks like a really cool flower. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that once more with some more colors. 
Again, you can see forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, increasing that with my fingernail, forwards and backwards. Once I've created my accordion fold, again, you're gonna staple right in the center, getting it as close to you can. And then when I open it up, oops, I forgot, cut off the ends, and then we'll open it up like a fan. Once you've opened it like a fan, pull the first layer of tissue towards yourself. And again, be very careful and very gentle as you, t as you pull the tissue paper so that it doesn't tear. Kind of does a nice job covering or hiding the staple as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for layer two as well. What a really cool flower design for my alpaca. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a moment to glue those in place so before I lose them. Grab your glue bottle. Please go ahead and make a small dab of glue, you know, like a small little puddle, and glue those in place. And lastly, if that didn't work for you, there's another way that you can do it just by using the end of your pencil, wrapping the tissue around the end, and sticking that together in the center. I'm fine with that as well. Let's take a moment to do a real quick review. Draw your alpaca in pencil. Outline with Sharpie. Add your visual texture with oil pastel to make him look furry. And do a light coat of paint. And lastly, paint your background. I thought it would be kind of cool to add my decoration as well. And in this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it around the end of my pencil of the end of my eraser and just stick those right into the circle of glue. So I wanted to go ahead and give you another opportunity to see that. And then when I started looking at my finished example, I thought I'd add a little bit more paint colors into my background for more interest. Thanks for watching and happy art making.